RTCI nous réunit. Good afternoon and welcome. It's a pleasure to be with you. Hi, it's okay in the studio. Faisal Haleli has just joined us on technical engineering and uh, together today with our guests uh, to talk about an interesting program, which is the Thomas Jefferson Scholarship. So welcome to all of you. Uh, we have here uh, the IREX team or members of the IREX team, Adel Lera, um, uh, Ines Mtiwi and uh, Mariam Magribi, uh, two participants in this uh, uh, prestigious program, the Thomas Jefferson scholarship uh, for young people and uh, Adil uh, is here to tell us more about uh, first of all the IREX team and then the Thomas Jefferson scholarship so what is it uh, Adil? Thank you very much Hayat for this invitation to talk about the launch of the sixth cohort of the Thomas Jefferson scholarship program I'm the program manager and Ines and Mariam are program assistants at IREX Tunisia so we're very glad here to talk about the call for applications mm -hmm. for the sixth cohort of the Thomas Jefferson Scholarship Program 2018-2019 and we invite, encourage all youth from Tunisia across the country to apply for this program. Uh, basically this program is uh, aimed towards students in technical colleges, mm -hmm. ISETs, ISATs, ISETs, sorry, ISATs mm -hmm. and IHETs and all other uh, universities. So there are two major projects, right. the Tunisia, UGRAD and mm -hmm. TCCSP, the Tunisia Undergraduate Scholarship Program and the Tunisia Community College Scholarship Program. Okay, so the Thomas Jefferson uh, Scholarship started in Tunisia in 2013. Uh, this is when it first started and this year you are at the sixth cohort already, uh, which means that uh, the, the program has become really successful among young people. Uh, right, uh, so uh, Adel, uh, the two components of the program, there are two parts, the UGRAD program or the uh, community uh, college, college uh, scholarship program as well. So what's the difference between the two, if you can tell us a little bit more about each one of them? Yes, Hayat, we are growing as a program and we are recruiting more and more students to go to the United States. As you said, this is a sixth cohort and we have a network of alumni of 450 students mm -hmm. now in Tunisia who went to the United States and studied in 101 colleges across the United States right. in 31 uh, states in the, in the US. Mm -hmm. So the program is getting bigger. Basically, the, the two programs are different in a slight uh, way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Tunisia undergraduate program is destined to university students mm -hmm. who are studying in uh, engineering schools, in faculties and universities in general. And the TCCSP program is aimed at technical colleges, okay. ISETs, mm -hmm. ISATs and IHETs. Mm -hmm. So this is the difference between them. Right. Uh, uh, who is eligible? For these, so you said uh, university students, and you said uh, students studying at technical colleges mainly. Mm -hmm. But what are the eligibility criteria? Well, this program is an undergraduate program. It's for undergraduate mm -hmm. students. So we are uh, aiming undergraduate students in their first year, second year, third year. It depends. Mm -hmm. So that they go to the United States when they apply, and when they come back, they have to have at least one semester to finish in Tunisia. Right. So they cannot really be on their graduating year mm -hmm. those who are studying for instance licenses and they are like in the third year they cannot apply right. so they have to leave one year to come back to the United States so that they can graduate so either the end of the first year or the end of the second year yes it depends mm -hmm. on the uh, degree if they are engineers right. is different and right. they are like architecture Lissons, architecture uh, is different mm -hmm. yes right. so it depends on the length of the program mm -hmm. but the th rule of thumb is like they have to have one semester left force of studies to come mm -hmm. back to Tunisia to graduate in Tunisia because right. the program is really helping the capacity or building the capacity of these youth to go to the United States and come back and help in Tunisia's development mm -hmm. in all sectors, economic, social, civil society. We want them to be the leaders of tomorrow. Right. And let's also remind that uh, uh, the first one is, is a non- uh, degree. Yes, program. both of them both are non-degree non programs. programs. Yes, but in the second one, they get certificates in technical or in professional fields. Definitely, right? yes. In mm -hmm. the TCCSP program, besides the certificate of completion they have at the end of every program mm -hmm. sponsored by the mm -hmm. United States of America, right. they have a technical uh, degree, a degree of the uh, specialty they studied there. Mm -hmm. By the way, they can study all specialties, and we encourage them to study specialties they study here in Tunisia if they were to stay here, so that they can mm -hmm. have the credit transfer. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, the uh, deadline for application. The deadline, the launch of the call of the application is uh, was on 16th of October, right. and the deadline is 27th of November, 5 p.m. Tunis time. We encourage right. applications on uh, online. Mm -hmm. They can find the application links on the American Embassy website and on irex.org. They can also follow us on our Facebook pages, and we encourage them to do it online and uh, submit their application before the deadline mm -hmm. so the first thing they have to do is to submit an application form definitely. and then there will be a selection process after that and uh, those selected will be notified definitely there will be like a semi-finalists after that mm -hmm. and we invite them for interviews they have to have yes uh -huh. and they have they have to have interviews and a TOEFL test and after that we do another selection and we get the finalists so right. this is a lengthy process mm -hmm. and it will take some time right um, uh, Adel an idea approximately for this year how many uh, people, you mm -hmm. know, are likely to participate in this program. Do you have a quota? Uh, yes, we have quotas that are changing from year to year. Mm -hmm. This year, I have uh, think like we have a more selective process, and the quota is less than the previous years. But mm -hmm. this is good because it will there push are people. There cuts everywhere. So yeah, no <laughs> a, a, a small cut really. It's not a huge <laughs> cut, but this is good for Tunisia okay, because but how many? How many? It's around like. Uh, 65 70 so right. it's not really a big cut but mm -hmm. it will be for more selectiveness and for more selection in the uh, selection right. process okay. yes uh, the the areas that are maybe targeted we are targeting fields of study let's say yes in the tccsp we are uh, uh, targeting uh, applied engineering and uh, technical information it and uh, 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 tourism mm -hmm. and they can find this on the website mm -hmm. and as far as you grad we are really targeting all, all uh, fields. fields of study Study, which is okay. which is why the Thomas Jefferson program is a great program because it allows them to study anything they can study they want to study and mm -hmm. probably they cannot they do not have the opportunity to study it here in Tunisia right okay so uh, from you Adel and from this uh, background you know about uh, the Thomas Jefferson program we move on to the two participants uh, they have already participated in the two parts of the program so Mariam uh, you participated in the uh, UGRAD yeah. program and uh, Ines you participated participated in the TCCSP yeah. uh, program. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me ask you, Mariam, uh, yeah. first, uh, um, tell us a little bit about this program. All right. So uh, actually, this program is for, as we said, undergraduate mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. who are not seniors. What, what is your field of study? I was studying uh, fundamental uh, literature and uh, civilization, mm -hmm. English language. English, all right. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but At which university? I was studying in Bourguiba School in okay. uh, Tunis. Yeah. In the ISLT? ISLT, yeah, right. exactly. Okay, better yeah. known as Burgiba School. Burgiba School. <laughs> yeah, whenever I say it's ISLT, no one knows it. So. Yes, right. Burgiba School. Right. school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I went there and I studied education. Mm -hmm. I kind of like shifted a little bit, didn't study English there, but I studied education because mm -hmm. I really wanted to try something different and see how things work in the US. And uh, it was an amazing experience, to be honest. Uh, I got to experience how to teach, mm -hmm. which um, unfortunately we don't have it in so Tunisia. So this is one of the benefits yeah all right what other benefits oh well, there, there are a lot <laughs> <Many>. <laughs> to be honest uh -huh. yeah you get to grow your uh, network circle for uh -huh. example you get to um travel a lot discover another culture a lot of cultures uh -huh. actually because there are a lot of international students uh, other than the americans and uh, you get to like um do something different like uh -huh. volunteering for example and uh, you get to improve your soft skills uh -huh. and what um, are some of the soft skills that you have learned there that maybe you did not uh, really quite know about here when you were in tunisia um actually i it's not that i didn't know about it when i was here but more like i improved them when i you went to the them. us okay um i improved like um skills like uh resume writing or like uh presentation skills mm -hmm. and uh, i also worked a lot on research skills mm -hmm. which i didn't even have when i was here in tunisia because i'm studying as a fundamental english mm -hmm. student so mm -hmm. we don't have as actually um end of studies project or mm -hmm. our uh, um, defense but uh, when I was there I got the chance actually to like um, 
have a defense there mm -hmm. uh, which was amazing i did a research and uh in my internship actually because i had an internship over there and uh, i was a researcher intern and um i worked in so a so there are, there were maybe three components to the program you had yeah. to attend the classes yes. you had to do some community, community service, service and yes. then uh, internship, the internship yes. all right Indeed. so uh, and what is the best part I mean, for you, for me, the internship kind of was the best part because it's something that I wouldn't have had in Tunisia mm -hmm. as a fundamental student, as I said. And um, it was because I was both a teacher mm -hmm. and at the same time trying to spot or find uh, problems with math teaching. Well, over what there. did you teach math? Yeah, I was teaching math. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm actually um, I graduated high school with a mathematics. Uh, uh, diploma, OK, so that's right. Why. Right. So that's <laughs> yeah. one of your majors. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Okay. And um, yeah, I got. Um, I mean, I got to do the research about how, how to improve teaching mm -hmm. math and uh, I kind of like spotted some problems mm -hmm. and improved and them, kind of, so it was really amazing, I would say. Wonderful, great. Okay, let me move on to Ines, uh, uh, Ines MTV. So yeah. uh, you participated in the T uh, CCSP, uh, which is a Tunisia Community College Scholarship Program. And which is um, also a non-degree uh, program, yeah, yeah. all right? Um, uh, so uh, as um, Adel mentioned. Uh, which, uh, uh, which university do you come from, uh, Ines? Um, uh, I came from uh, Izet's Facts. Izet's Facts, yeah. all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, as uh, Adel mentioned, uh, this uh, scholarship is for students enrolled in Izet, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. e ESETs. Technical and colleges e in general, yes, right? Yes, and in e mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, in 2014, 2015, I went to the US. Mm -hmm. um, um, I did. After, after your first year at university? Yes, after right. first year, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, um, I studied information technology in mm -hmm. North Central Technical College uh, in Wausau, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. um, and beside my, besides my studies, uh, I did several hours of community service. Mm -hmm. um, I will highlight the most important one, which is, was um, uh, teaching French and some Arabic uh, for kids mm -hmm. um, uh, at Boys and Girls Club. Um, and... Um, yeah, uh, I was an active also. Uh, I was an active member in many clubs in my college, such as uh, the International Students Club. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually was the representer of uh, this club in the Student Government Association. Mm -hmm. um, I also did an internship in nonprofit organization uh, called the National uh, Alliance uh, on Mental Illness. It is the um, nation nation's uh, largest mm -hmm. mental and health organization. Uh, the mission of this organization is to improve the quality of life uh, of people affected by mental illness right. uh, my mi my mission was um, creating their website and managing the social media mm -hmm. their social media right. such as um, Facebook mm -hmm. um, yeah and uh, I just wanted to highlight the most important uh, experience that I have had mm -hmm. but I did more than that actually right okay yeah. so uh, the most enjoyable part of the program for yeah. you was was <laughs> was what exactly um, the community service the community Yes, because I haven't the chance to do community service uh, here in Tunisia. Actually, mm -hmm. I never heard about community service in Tunisia. Right. Uh, yeah, it was the most. That's voluntary work here. Yeah. I mean, or uh, if you uh, belong to civil society associations, that's uh, a little bit, you know, what looks like community service uh, yeah, uh, here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was the most important one, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, right, uh, so uh, let me ask you both uh, the mm -hmm. question about classes. Uh, and uh, we know that the system of education in the U.S. is very different from ours. Mm -hmm. So uh, how, how did you, uh, I mean, manage uh, there? Was it a shock for you? Uh, was it uh, easy for you to adapt? Um, how was it? Okay, first of all, it wasn't easy to adapt, but after that, it's really get like by the time it's mm -hmm. getting easier. Um, I really um, learned a lot from that from the American professor, mm -hmm. especially time management. All right, uh, and how mm -hmm. to submit one of the skills. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. and um, like we should like every day should submit um, a lot of homework, mm -hmm. and um, we have to respect deadlines, which right, is right <laughs> here in Tunisia. Yeah, like send a message, send a message. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> time management. And emails <laughs> to those who are time. listening. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah. how important homework is yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> right. What about you, uh, uh, Mariam? Well, actually, um, we kind of have like a different experience. Mm -hmm. It was really mm -hmm. easy for me to adapt at first. 
until the end actually um i didn't have any problem with like understanding or like with coping with the atmosphere mm-hmm. got to make like I got the chance to make a lot of new friends. Um, but also what I enjoyed the most was mm-hmm. like two parts, actually. The first part is that um, the relationship between the teachers, like the professors mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. all the students, it's, it's more like friendlier than like it's friendlier than here in mm-hmm. Asia. Um, but I also enjoyed something which we don't have at all here, which is making your own schedule. I really love mm-hmm. that. Like, mm-hmm. um <laughs> We get to choose the classes, the professors, and you get to choose like the time of your class, um, suiting yourself, kind of. So it was, it was. Imagine if you had the opportunity to do that here. Yeah, well, it's (laughs) very flexible. Yeah, Yeah, it's it's kind of challenging. I wouldn't Uh say it's like amazing because sometimes you know you have to join a class and then everyone everyone wants that class, so they all apply at the same time and then there's no room left for you. Mm -hmm. But as international, we had some privilege Privilege. over there. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Right. Uh, so how is it important uh, for you, I mean, for young people? Mm-hmm. And how would you recommend this program to other young people? Uh, and why is it important for young people to participate in exchange programs like this, in this, in similar programs like this? Um, yes, Ines. Okay, uh, I will just talk about myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the most important thing that I have learned from this experience is I learned about myself. That's right. I learned... Um, what I can do, my skills, my potential, mm-hmm. and um, yes, and maybe your and limits. What, yes, <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah. Yeah, and to yeah, go beyond but, the limits, of <laughs> course. Yes, and yeah, also um, like you, you got the chance to discover the world. There's a lot of right. national. There's a lot of people from different um, country countries around the world. Mm-hmm. So that's what made me open to the world, and right. this is not a huge really, cultural exchange yeah, experience, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what about you, Mariam? Well, actually, there are a lot of aspects. I would say, first of all, it opens like a lot of doors in Tunisia. Uh, just the fact that you have studied uh, an academic year in the U.S. and you were an exchange student, it just it's, it's magical. I would say whatever you try to do here in Tunisia becomes easier. Um, unfortunately, though, but still. Um, also, it kind of like gives you a push. It gives you like a huge confidence right. in yourself in in whatever you can do. Um, I'll just give a brief example. Um, in the past, I never, literally never traveled alone. Like, I fear traveling alone. But then when I was in the US, I kind of like pushed myself to discover because I can't wait for everyone. So that's the start. And then after that, I couldn't stop. I could never stop. Right. <laughs> and um, yeah, also there is one major thing, which is the networking circle that mm-hmm. it gives you. Like right now like this is actually like my second year in tunis and i happen to know a lot of people here um and like someone who just came to tunis and you know you don't have a circle you don't have a network right. but i kind of do thanks to this opportunity so great i think it's great. amazing yeah. right it's it's an amazing experience even if it's uh, as we said earlier a non-degree uh, yeah. program yeah. but what you learn is by far uh, uh you know not measurable you cannot really measure it uh, with uh, uh you know diplomas or th- yeah. that it's not the most important thing because there are skills that you acquire that maybe uh, the program at the university does not really give you uh, uh, the, the the opportunity to uh, to follow. So uh, the um, uh, you want to yeah. add something? Let yeah. me ask you something first, uh, yeah. Adil, uh, about the scholarship and what it covers. Mm-hmm. Uh, w- so what does it cover when a person gets selected? Um, I mean, are they fully covered by the scholarship or do they have to pay certain things yeah uh they don't have to pay anything the scholarship right. is fully funded fully by funded the united states government State of america department. definitely mm-hmm. so they don't have to uh, pay anything we even give them transport allowances if they are in the south for instance right, right. people who come from tozer gafsa mm-hmm. and everything if we allow invite them for semi-finalist interviews mm-hmm. we pay everything for them the hotel so everything is fully funded just mm-hmm. apply if you want just to be a leader and remember to yeah. apply this is for 2018 2019 Yes. So yeah. for them to uh, to understand mm-hmm. that the process is quite long, yeah. and then uh, you need to apply now in order to be ready for. 2018, 2019. Definitely. The mm-hmm. first stage is to send your application online before November right. uh, 27th, 27. 2018 5 by p.m. 5 p.m. Tunisia, Tunisia time, time because it shuts at that time. Right. Okay. Yeah. And uh, before, 
Um, this is not the uh, end of the experience, actually, and mm -hmm. I wanted to add this. After they come back from the United States, we of have course. a huge alumni the program. That's right. As you said, like, and you mentioned earlier, this is the sixth cohort of the Thomas Jefferson Culture Program, and by the end, the fifth cohort uh, goes back, we will have a network of 550 or more. Wow. So we will have a lot of alumni, and we have a lot of activities for them. We have professional yeah. innovation chats, we have professional inside days where we take our alumni to you need to companies and to this introduce is how they them. can implement all the skills that they have definitely, learned and all definitely, the, definitely. The, the benefits you yeah. know how they can their, make their yeah. country and mm -hmm. their and their peers benefit from yeah. from this uh, you want to add something yes mm -hmm. uh, i really encourage everyone to apply um, for this scholarship it is a once a lifetime opportunity i think everyone can do it um, like i just go go for it believe in yourself um think what you want to do in your uh, for your country uh focus on what you want to learn and uh, what you want to improve and yeah that's it and, and you, will you will not get... regret it yeah like for me for me i wasn't know that i have a great desire for leadership skills and right. now um like i have always um, want to improve more um, my skills and yeah. Wonderful. Mm. yeah. She's a leader now. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, I am. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just want to add one thing. You might think this is like a dream, kind of like having like a fully funded scholarship and stuff like that. Some people might not believe it, but Ines and I are like a living proof because <laughs> yeah, right. we're That's telling right. you that we had the experience. We've been there. We've done that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an amazing experience. And I would want to encourage everyone who thinks he can represent this country especially right. um they to go forward i mean it's an amazing chance and it's it's perfect in and, 65 and, yeah. scholarship uh, scholarships i am sure that uh, there is one over there listening to us <laughs> yeah. who can be eligible for this yeah. program yeah. and i wanted to highlight that ines is from sfax uh, marim is from gebis it right. means we're targeting tunisian youth across, across the, country, the country all That's cities right. and we will reach out to them personally I'm I mean face to face I mean in person and we will explain the program more and this is just I mean open for all Tunisian youth that's right well thank you very much uh, it was uh, really a pleasure to talk to you and uh, to you. the young leaders uh, yeah. here the leaders of tomorrow <laughs> yeah. uh, to yeah. talk about uh, the Thomas Jefferson scholarship for those of you who would like to know more about it they can uh, then follow you on your Facebook page yeah the embassy website yes or and the, the IREX, IREX website the IREX IREX org. yeah IREX is spelled I R E x.org dot dot org. yes okay uh, and the deadline is the 27th, 27th of, of november yes of november, 5, p. 5 p.m mm. tunisian time yes quick go there and apply perfect thank you thank you very thank much you. you're thank welcome you. bye 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 join me tomorrow for another edition bye